Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolina, if you're new. And today I wanted to give you guys another update on how or what I've been doing after I finished nursing school and basically graduated. Um, there's been a lot going on, but at the same time, there's been a lot of waiting going on. <laughs> um, also, um, I've been wanting to do uh, videos of like me taking pictures um, with my cap and gown after graduation, you know, graduation pictures and all that, but I wanted to put that out until I got my license. That way I can take the RN pictures and graduation pictures at the same time. Um, yeah, there's just been a lot going on, guys. Um, today I was playing with makeup and then it got a little heavy uh, and the glitter got everywhere. I couldn't take it out. So, yes, and my son is sleeping. The kids are out with my dad so i was like okay this is my moment this is not the first time i tried to film this video this is actually my third time the first time um i was interrupted and couldn't finish it and then um the second time i filmed the video in my kitchen but my kids were watching tv they were watching youtube and um Throughout the video, you could hear the music in the background. So I didn't want to get copyrighted or anything. And you guys couldn't really hear me. Like, you could hear me, but the music in the background was distracting. So I didn't want that. Um, I didn't want that to uh, be uh, oh, an issue. Okay, so here I am filming again, taking advantage that my son is sleeping and that I'm alone and that yeah let's just get right into the video the purpose of this video <laughs> okay so you guys you guys know if you don't know um i took the exam the exit the nursing exit exam in june june 7th okay it was a monday and that whole week um after the exam so it was monday exit exam next day was tuesday and i did nothing because there was nothing to do but Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I had ATI Live Review. ATI Live Review, they basically kind of go over like fundamental, basic things that you need to be uh, get ready for or study for NCLEX. And that was that three days, but a lot of information. Um, I didn't really take notes or anything like that. I just listened and absorbed. Um, I I did um, kind of divide, like, like mark the pages that... Uh, the lady emphasized uh, the pink book there's a pink book that they give us it's like an ATI comprehensive book and it gives everything that we learned throughout nursing school but condensed information and it's supposed to help it's like a reference in my opinion to pass the NCLEX um, but it has very good condensed information and it's in order so it's still helpful I still reference it too um, so yeah that was that week okay so the next week after i finished the exit exam i'm basically graduated so my graduation date is june 13th um and that week i was like okay the week after the exit exam is gonna be my day my week off and everything's gonna be chill and uh nobody bother me i'm relaxing uh <laughs> but no no, life is like, let me throw this at you, okay? Um, my daughter, we were outside playing, you know, because we were, I was trying to spend time with my kids because, you know, they were like mommy deprived. Well, not mommy deprived, but you know, they had my full attention now. So we were outside playing and um, uh, it was Liam and Landon, my two little ones, the boys. And we were outside playing with some neighbors and the neighbors, they're fast. They get on scooters, bikes, they race. Anyways, my daughter was inside and the last 10 minutes that we had to play because I was going to bring them in for dinner, she decided to go out. <laughs> she was racing one of the boys her age, but he's really fast. And my daughter's pretty fast. She's a fast runner, but this little boy is fast. And she likes competition, so she's like, let's race. They were racing, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be with the little one. Just be careful, no car backs up. Because we were, like, way outside, way outside, like, in the, you know, the sidewalk. And um, I was still keeping an eye on them. Uh, 
so Sophia is racing and I see I'm like go girl <laughs> and um she decided to leave the 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 sidewalk and run where the grass was which is like a little it's uneven the sidewalk is even the grass patches are not even so she was running so fast and she lost control and um she fell on her arm but she she fell like she all fell but her arm hit the ground first uh, and it was the kind of the grass it was like the start of the little hill <laughs> it's not a hill i don't know i don't know how to describe it um but yeah so i'm not sure if she fell on the concrete or if it was grass either way i saw her like get up but like that she was gonna cry but you know when kids sometimes if you have kids or family members or other kids you see when they fall they get up and they start making a face like it hurt well she made that face and i was like okay well um i was a few steps away from her and i was like okay i'm walking there with the little baby i was like oh my it looks like it really hurt but she'll be fine no no okay she sat down and i could see she went white and she passed she was passing out and i was like oh hell no <laughs> when my daughter faints it's so scary because it kind of looks like a seizure and she doesn't have any seizure disorders but it looks like it like it, it looks like she's about to have a seizure but she faints so so scary she passed out um um and i was like oh no i had landon i kind of let go of him and i went to her because i got a little scared but then i remembered i'm like oh shoot like landon runs into the street so i got back up she's passing out i got back up i got landon and i pulled him towards me and i like grabbed sophia and i'm like you know and i told liam run to the house because it was like two houses down i told him run to the house get grandma and she went out you know okay we brought her in um we brought her inside the house to give her orange juice, Tylenol, um, and she was a little better, but her arm started swelling. And I was like, that's not normal. I mean, that's never happened to me. I, I was a wild kid. I was on skates, racing, bikes, everything, the whole thing in the alley, in the freaking street. Nothing ever happened like that to me. So I was like, okay, but that doesn't look normal. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to take her to the hospital. My mom was tripping. Okay, in the background, my mom was tripping, you know, uh, I don't know if it's just Hispanic moms, but I don't know, she was tripping. She was like, why do you have that girl over there? Nobody told you to take that little girl over there. I was like, like, it's fine. Like, I'm her mom. She can play where I'm at, where I let her play. You know, she can get her anywhere, inside the house, outside, in front. It doesn't matter, kids have accidents. So anyways besides that um i took it to the hospital because i felt like something wasn't right so yeah it turns out she broke two bones and you know me this video was for me to update you guys about nursing school and i'm over here telling you guys stories but this is what this, what's been going on okay and that's what's like interfering with a lot of things related to nursing school anyways she broke two bones in her arm ulna and the radius uh they broke they just broke poor little girl <laughs> my baby she she was in so much pain but i had given her a tylenol because i knew she was going to be in some kind of pain um but i didn't know that her bones had broken i just thought like maybe something was fractured but not broken anyway she got a cast we didn't sleep for like two days okay or like one and a half and then we kind of caught up in sleep and i was like okay that's still the week that i'm not studying so i'm not studying yet but like two days after she broke her bones we all got sick in the house. We all got sick. It was kind of bad, but it wasn't that bad. But it was like sick, like I can't study. Like I can't even like get up to like make, I can't even get up to make um, food, <laughs> struggling. But I'm gonna try to make this video quick cause I, you know, I like to talk and tell stories. But um, basically, yeah. After, so it was like the third week after I finished the exit exam or maybe two, like two and a half, almost three, when I started studying. So basically, after you graduate nursing school, um, I don't know if every school does this, but my school has this thing called green light. So in order to achieve green light, you have to do a baddie, which is kind of what I was already doing, but it's called ATL, like 
VAT, it's called VAT, virtual ATI. And it's like, they give you a specific counselor or person that kind of like schedules, like what you have to do or study each week. Um, and then they kind of give you like quizzes here and there. And they give you one exam that's 150 questions. That's a comprehensive exam, similar to the exit, but 150 questions. And when you take that, they kind of, they want to see if you are ready to take the, um, it's another exam, it's called the RN VADI Comprehensive Predictor Exam, and this predicts whether, like the likelihood of you passing the NCLEX on the first time. Okay, so uh, there's two, and they have like weeks, so it's like the first week, this, second week, third, okay, so it's all laid out. I don't, I don't wanna get into details because I don't know if every nursing school is like that. Okay, so I was studying from like mid-June, almost the end of June, um, I started like studying and doing all the little assignments that I had to do and trying to follow the schedule um, and doing questions at the same time. Uh, some days I did more than 100. There were days where I didn't like do any, uh, but those were like small. If I Most of the days I did, but it wasn't to 100 questions. It was like 20 to 70 questions. Um, my motivation to study after nursing school was the, uh, almost zero because it's like, I've been studying for so many years and it's like, I'm so sick and tired of studying. Um, although nurses always, you know, learn, we always have to learn, but like nursing school type studying, I'm like, I'm done, I'm done. So, but I had to motivate myself again, like still, we, like you just graduated nursing school, but that's not the end, honey. You need to study for your NCLEX and make sure you studied well so you can pass the first time. So that's my goal. So that's what I've been trying to do. So mid-June, after everything happened, um, I started getting back into it. It wasn't consistent every day with the questions, but I was studying. Um, and then I took the, you know, the smaller big exam, the, <laughs> um, and then I passed that and then I was like, okay, the second week of July, um, I'm ready to take the, the final so I can, you know, be ready to take the NCLEX. Okay, so I took it, I didn't pass it by a few points. Anyways, I wasn't stressed out because they give you a total of three chances to take this uh, exam to achieve green light. Um, and if you achieve green light, they pay $200 for so you can take the NCLEX the first time and they give you like a cash reward. I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's like $500, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Um, so I was like, okay, well, yeah, I want to do this green light, right? So I was like, damn, like, bummer, I didn't pass it. Okay, I'll just study a bit more. So they give you what's called remediation. If you don't pass it, they give you, like, more things to focus on to study, more questions, like, um, things to, like, study and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I did. I finished it. And, um, but my it was my daughter's birthday, like, July 20th. So we were doing a, planning a party. So I wasn't really focused um, after the second week of July till... It was like that whole week and a half, um, like mid-July, I wasn't really focused because I was kind of bummed out that I didn't pass it. Um, either way, I have not, I did not get my approval by Breeze or I don't know, is it the BRN who approves us to, um, to uh, get our ATT code from Pearson View so we can take the NCLEX. So I'm not sure how that goes, but... Um, I did not receive my approval until July 28th. So that was like, that was a long ass time. That was like almost two months after I graduated nursing school. So I graduated technically, exit exam day is my graduation, but <laughs> um, I mean, technically the 13th is my graduation, but I say it's the 7th because that's the day I pass the exit exam. But no, it's the 13th. Okay, so the 13th, uh, so July, so July uh, 28th, that's when I got my, my approval. But even then, I couldn't even schedule the NCLEX because I had not retaken the predictor exam until like this week, which is like the first, is it the first week of August? Are we in the first week of August? Let me go check, one sec. I'm back, okay, so yes. I did not retake the exam until this first week of August. So basically three weeks after I took it the first time and I passed, I just passed. 
and um, um, I got mixed up. Uh, you know that exam that I told you guys, the 150 questions before you take the real predictor exam? Okay, so I took that one and I was so confused. I emailed the lady from the school saying that, oh, I finished the predictor exam, but I had it. Um, um, so I was like, oh man, I still need one more exam. The big one, the main one that I thought I had taken already. Um, I don't know, that sounds a little confusing. I took it one time, I didn't pass, but then I studied again and I had to retake that smaller exam to take the this predictor again. So, um, yeah, so there was like a little misunderstanding, but um, I had already emailed her, so she kind of knew um, that I was retaking it again so i did that last night um so i took the other comprehensive exam on monday and i passed that so i was like okay i'm done but no i i remember that i had to take the predictor comprehensive is one predictor is another so um i took that last night um in the evening my mom took all the kids from me for like two hours it was like two to three hours it took me and i finished and i passed so then now i can for sure uh schedule my nclex date uh the day i take nclex i'm not sure i think i wanted um either the second to last week of august or the last week of august the sooner the better but um i wanted two to three weeks of studying more so i did ati studying now i'm going to focus on U world um i've done a lot of ati studying so i don't think i'm going to use that i'm only going to use the ati pink book um for reference i am going to reread that um and restudy it but now i'm going these three weeks um hopefully if i find a date i'm just saying right now i don't know when my when i'm going to be able to schedule i haven't even looked um um but hopefully late august you guys hopefully late august i can take my anclex um i'm not saying what day um but i'll let you guys will know what day I, when i make my next video and how i studied for anclex and all that stuff but um yeah uh uh what was I? I lose my train of thought. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I just, okay, so July 28th, I got my approval. I did not get an ATT code until I registered with Pearson View. So you get approved, I think, by the BRN. It's, it's like a, the Breeze website. Um, and then from there, you do a Pearson View account. The school will, uh, I, at least my school, they're guiding me on like step by step what to do. So then after I received my approval, they're like, okay, pass the, the predictor exam so you can get green light so we can pay for it. So there's a lot of other people. If you don't do green light, you don't have to go through this step. You can like graduate and then like do your thing if you pay for it. I wanted the school to pay for it and I wanted the cash. So that's the route that I took. Then it would have taken less time. Um, but... Um, I knew that I needed time to like relax and like do my own thing and you know but it was a long wait um, because I think even though it was even though you didn't do green light I think you still have to wait for the BRN to approve you so all those people still I think couldn't do it because they still needed the school the BRN needs to approve the school I believe so um, we were not the whole school was not approved uh, for my cohort until July 28th so you're still kind of stuck but I wanted to follow like a scheduled uh, study guide so that was very helpful in my opinion um, let's see if I pass the NCLEX the first time <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah so I finished all of Batty I got my approval I have to actually right now go on Pearson view and put in my code and select my NCLEX date and I'm so excited guys but that's what's been going on um my daughter fell um she broke her arm this summer so nothing special this summer because all the water summer fun that could be going on did not go on she's she had the cast for six weeks and then add two more weeks onto it it's all her summer break all her summer break she had that cast poor girl uh, she still kind of played and stuff but we had to be very careful and um she's starting school in like a week so um they're gonna take it off three days before she starts school she still has to wear a brace so hopefully that works out for her and I i'm not sure if she's gonna they told us she could write i'm not sure if she's gonna be able to like write as well as she could before but um 
um yeah she'll be fine she'll be fine but um yes guys that's what's been going on there's been a lot of waiting and waiting for the brn to approve us and just get our att and stuff but in the meantime that that didn't happen i was studying and doing all the ati stuff um i have not taken oh another thing i had not taken graduation pictures or anything like that because um I did not know I had to order my own cap and gown and the sash and everything. Um, I didn't know until a friend told me like two weeks ago, <laughs> two to three weeks ago, uh, which was already like late July. And I was like, what? We had to order it? Like where? Um, it was, everything was closed already. I couldn't order it anymore, but I talked to the main people and I was like, you know what? I didn't know I had to order it. So what can I do to get it? Excuse me. Damn um they're like okay yes we got we still have um cap and gowns that are your size um send us a check i sent the check and i got my stuff like this week <laughs> um yeah so i'm ready to take the pictures um i didn't want to take them because i want to pass the nclex first um and then take the pictures because i wanted to take graduation and rn pictures but i think i'm going to separate it now because um that's just gonna be too much i'm gonna take graduation pictures first and then the rn because i want to take like cute pictures with my cap and gown and like all my books and stuff like that and then for the when i pass the nclex and get my license i want to take the pictures with scrubs and rn balloons and do the whole thing you know um so yeah i'm gonna do that um what else can i update you guys on yeah this summer it's just been very overwhelming for some reason um not overwhelming um it hasn't been overwhelming it's been just very tiring just trying to keep studying after so many years of studying so much um i've been in school for a total of 10 years um i graduated high school in 2011 and i graduated in 2021 and some days when I, after I had my first daughter, it's been a lot of part time. That was when I was in community college. And then I had my second. So there was a lot of part time schooling that I was doing, but mostly full time. Um, I, for so many years, it was spring, fall, but also summer and winter. Like I had no break. The most break that I would get was a week. Summer, uh, it was spring, summer fall winter school over and over and i had to do a lot of repeating because i messed up in community college in the beginning because i was procrastinating i knew what i was doing but i was procrastinating procrastinating and this is a whole different video guys but this video is gonna be long but if you've gotten to this point thank you so much uh but i wanted to, i want to do a whole video on my journey and how it's been and the things i felt and the giving up and wanting to give up and I didn't and then um, not thinking I wasn't gonna get into a nursing school because of my GPA and how one quiz can determine your GPA like a few quizzes can determine your GPA although you may know the information but the quiz if you didn't get it right that time like you failed those quizzes like no like you're not getting into nursing school no and I'm like, oh all of the counselors all of the counselors that didn't believe in me. All the counselors are like, oh, are you sure nursing is for you? Are you sure? I don't think you should do nursing. Like you're, be, what? Oh, based on what? My character, my personality? No, my GPA. And that's a lot of things, that's what like, what motivated, motivated me more. It was like, no, like you're, you're a counselor. Yes, you, you know what you're doing too, but you don't know me. And although that, yes, I did fail a lot of uh, courses, I remade them. And, and just because my GPA wasn't as strong, it wasn't a 4.0, doesn't mean that nursing isn't for me. So I found a way. Okay, so I can't do the main schools that I want on time. I can't do them. I'll, I'll probably qualify for some of the low, the, not the lower ones, but you know, the ADN programs. There's nothing wrong with those. But that's not what I wanted. And uh, I didn't even think I had a good likelihood of getting in with all the competition. 
So I was like, okay, what's my other route? West Coast University, it's private and it's so expensive. And yes, I do, I don't regret because I made my decision and I knew why I made my decision and going into West Coast with all that loans and money and stuff. But that's the path that I chose and I'm so glad that I did. And now it's time to work and pay all those loans and be, you know, start my, my journey as a nurse. And I'm gonna get more into it and probably more emotional um, in another video um, after I get my license. <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you so much for listening if you've gotten on to, up to this point. And um, there are so many videos that I wanted to make when I was in nursing school, but I was just so overwhelmed I never made them. Like, what supplies? best for nursing school like a lot of nursing school related stuff that i just never made that i probably will make now but just you know because i'm out of it now i can see it you know um for new nursing students but yes um um this time it's very hard for like people to get um their license i think um I don't know there's other schools that are faster than others or i don't know how that works like the whole approval thing but um i guess it just depends um after you get approved then you can go ahead and schedule but yes i don't want to take my exam more than three weeks after my um my approval and my att so that's around yeah that's late august so um so yeah, I have to get on it, start studying new worlds, get on it. I've been talking so much, guys, but I love to talk sometimes. Um, and I like to share my experiences and what I know. That's why um, I talk a lot, because when I know that some people are going to benefit from it, I, I enjoy it. So um, yeah, guys, <laughs> follow me on this journey, um, because it's only beginning uh, as a nurse. Uh, my first job is out there and I'm excited and I don't know how to end this video that's why I keep talking <laughs> but anyways I know I missed something out I'll probably mention it in the next video but yes guys thank you so much and wish me luck pray for me so I finish my NCLEX the first time well pass my NCLEX the first time and I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>